What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to build an image swiper with KiviMD and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to build this cool little image swiper app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to build this image swiper. And we're going to use KVMD, Kivi, and Python to do it. This is actually very easy with KVMD, and it uh, shouldn't take us very long at all. So let me go ahead and close this and head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kivi playlist with, I don't know, over 50 or so other Kivi videos in this series. So I've got two files, swiper.py and swiper.kv. And this is our basic Kivi starter code that we always have. We've got our theme set to dark and blue gray. We've got our .kv file designated as swiper.kv here. And we're pretty much done. So this is all we need for this. Just this little bit of code for the Python part. All of this will be taken care of in the Kivi file. So we start out by creating this my swiper at MD swiper item thing here. Now, if we want to just build this thing with one basic image, we could do that right here. And we would do that by calling fit image. And then inside of here, giving it a source. If we pull up a Windows Explorer in our Kivi MD directory where we're saving this file, I created this images directory. And inside of here, I just put some images. So we can access that just by calling images slash and then whatever image we want. So I can call it aspen.png. Now this is a relative path. You could also use an absolute path. You could go, you know, something like uh, C slash Kivi MD slash images. But since this file is being saved in this directory, we can just use a relative path like that. So next we want to designate the radius. And I'm going to put this at 20 and nothing. And you can see this is a list. What this does is designates the radius around the image. So if we want to make this kind of rounded, we could put something like 20. If we want to make it very rounded, you could put like 200 or something. And we'll play around with that. So really, that's all we need for just one image. And that's all there is. So if we want to play around with this, let's build out our app a little bit. Let's go MD screen. And inside of here, let's create a little toolbar. Because most of your apps are going to have some sort of toolbar on top. So let's just create a fake one real quick, given an ID of toolbar, and we need to do that. And I'll show you why in just a second. Let's give this a title of our swiper app. <laughs> I don't know. And then let's give this an elevation of like 10. And let's give this a position hint of uh, let's go top and like one. So that'll create a little toolbar on top. It'll just say our swiper app on it. No big deal. So now we need to create the actual swiper thing itself. And to do that, we call an MD swiper. And this will be the entire size of the app. And we don't really want it to be the entire size of the app because we've got this little toolbar on top. So we need to say, hey, make it sort of smaller than the toolbar at least. And so we can give this a size underscore hint underscore Y of none. And let's give this a height of, let's go root dot height. Let's do a little math here, minus the toolbar dot height. And let's also shave off a little bit more. So let's go like 40 more, I guess you'd call it pixels down from the toolbar. So it's not right up against it, you know. And so okay, and then let's also give this a y of root dot height minus self dot height, the, the height of the actual swiper itself, minus our toolbar dot height. And then let's give this a little bit more as well. Let's just go, I don't know, like 20. So, okay, that looks good. So now to create actual sort of, I don't know what you would call them, cards or swiped things, swipers, we just call them my swiper. So inside of this MD swiper, let's go my swiper. And I'm just going to create like four or five of these, two, three, four, five. And now remember, up here at the very top, 
we said, hey, put this image on all of them so we don't have to do anything in here for now. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to see if I messed this up because it's Monday morning. I could very well have. So let's go Python, swiper.py. And when we do, we get absolutely nothing. So I did mess it up. See, let's see, what did I do? I misspelled source. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now, if we run this guy, pretty sure this will work. All right, and you can see we've got like 40 pixels here. We've got like 20 here or something like that. And you can see two, three, four, we've got five areas that all have the same picture. Got a little toolbar on top with our, you know, with our little title. And that's all there is to it. Now, if we didn't have that, you know, we could play around with this. And so let's say we don't want this. And then we don't need like this height stuff. We can get rid of all of that. Let's run this guy again. You can see now it's just crammed right up to the very top. There's no space at all between anything. But I don't know, maybe that's what you want. So you could do it like that. And that's how you would do that. But you know, we probably want all of this stuff. So I'll bring it all back. So okay, so that's how you do it with one sort of image on everything, which is probably not what you want. So let's go ahead and copy this. And let's get rid of it. Let me just kind of comment this out. Now we're going to put this same thing down here in each one of our little swipers, right? So we can sort of play around with this. So this needs to be obviously indented underneath each little swiper. So I'm terrible at copying and pasting things. Don't ever recommend you do it because you're going to mess something up with indentations and whatever. But like I said, it's Monday morning, we're just going to go right ahead and do it anyway. Okay, so now we've got all of these. So let's come through here and change these. So this will be Aspen two, Aspen three, Aspen four. And this one will be me. So like I said, these images are just coming from this directory. So Aspen, Aspen two, Aspen three, Aspen four, and me. And I just threw some random images of me and Aspen in that directory. And that should work. So let's go ahead and save this head back over here, run the sky one more time. And now we get different images for each sort of swipe. And to swipe this, I'm just, you know, sort of dragging my I'm clicking and holding the mouse button and then just dragging I'm swiping, you know, and this will work with a mouse or if you've got a you know, a touchpad, you can do it with your finger. Uh, but we're swiping. Now notice the radius here. Let's use this one. This is a 20 radius. And you can see there's a little curve around the edge here. Right? Like I said, we could play around with that. So if we come back over here, and let's make this first one like 200. So if we save this and run it, we see Oh, man, that is probably way too much. You can see there's a lot of curve in there. Now we got 200 radius. I don't know, maybe you want that maybe you don't. But you can tweak it to whatever you want. If you want it, you know, slightly, if you don't want any at all, you could do that as well. You know, we could put this at one, maybe see what that looks like. Run this guy again. See, not much of any at all. And this, you know, compared to this one with 20. So you know, whatever you like, just that easy. So that's an image swiper, very easy, very quick to do. You just kind of remember to sort of add it like this, add your MD swiper inside of that put my swipers for whatever little, you know, area card, image, whatever you want to put in there, hit your image, add your source, boom, boom, piece of cake. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships It pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.